Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the pets, that why are the pets so important to have in the game. So I'm just going to get started and see uh, what's going on around. I think there's a lot of stuff that I don't know is happening. Um, so if I check the diamond shop over here, I got a TNT for free. Um, and I'm having this diamond pack over here with a little discount that's 21% discount. I'm getting 275 diamonds. Then, of course, uh, I have these uh, decorations that I already showed you guys. But I'm wondering, where is the path? Is it gone? I'm kind of confused. Um, I'm not going to get them anyway. So, yeah, we're just going to close that. And uh, let's see. What news are we having in the game? So, we've got our next week's even calendar. Um, okay. Let's uh, just uh, do my nectar bushes over here. They're dead, so we're going to cut them. And we're going to plant some more. Farm management is so important in this game because if you don't manage your farm on a regular basis, then your farm is going to look like a jungle. Just like you can see, my farm is a complete mess. I don't even know what's happening. Uh, let's have a look at the visitors. Okay, bros, you will have to wait. Um, I'll hire you sometime later. Our uh, double coins visitor event today, but I'm not prepared. So I think I'm just going to send the visitors away. This lady here needs rice, which is a good price, but I think... I still love my rice more than the money, so I'm not going to sell her anything. Can I do my crops? Oh, I need to plant more sugar canes. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then let's see, what do we need for the boat? Come on, this is not good. Why don't I have any um, espresso? Like, all the time, I'm just running out of the espresso. So um, I'm just going to claim all that. And then we're going to fill my crates. That's uh, one two and um we're just going to be asking for the help let's, let's do my peanut bushes as well now uh, coming to the main topic of this video that's going to be all about the pets uh why are the pets so important to have in the game and uh, what do pets do now this is not going to be a detailed video if you're looking for more detailed information and a more analytical approach then you can check out my pets playlist i've got all the information covered that you need to know about the pets currently available in the game but pets i think unlock at level 22 if i'm not wrong or maybe a level 20 um, first of all, you get the dogs, then you get the cats, um, puppies, kittens, and there's just a lot of animals that you can get. So, um, to find them, you just have to go into the animal section in the game. Now, these are your farm animals. They are not pets. Um, you know, the sheep, pig, cow, goat, and chickens, they have their own importance that maybe we'll talk about some other day. But today, our main focus is just going to be the pets. So, uh, these are all the pets that you can see over here. If I scroll down, so, uh, we have a lot of dogs. There are three kind of dogs dogs. We have the puppies, cats, kittens, horses, donkeys, um, bunnies. There's a lot of different types of all the animals. And then we also have the birds that come in the same category as the pets. Uh, but to buy the pets, you have to spend a special currency that's known as a chick voucher. However, their purpose in the game is pretty much the same. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions from people that why do I recommend them to spend the vouchers on the pets? Well, of course, uh, this is the most important thing you can spend your vouchers on, just like you spend your coins on buying the machines. I recommend everyone to spend their vouchers on buying the pets. Don't waste them on your decorations. I know the decorations can be tempting, but trust me, decorations don't really do a lot at the end of the day. This game is like a business game. You have to think wisely. You have to think from the mindset of a businessman, you know. So having that concept in your mind, it's important to spend things wisely. So you can see these are all my pets that I currently have in the game. I think I do have all of them except a few birds that I still am trying to get. So uh, these are my birds. I think I'm just going to call them over here too. Yeah, we're just going to blow the whistle. So and here comes all my birds running. They look so cute. So the first purpose of having pets in the game is your farm looks really cute and dynamic. I mean, why not? Imagine if you go to a countryside, you know, to visit a farm and they don't have any animals. Like, how would you feel? There's no farm without animals or pets. So having pets in the game, it just looks very beautiful. I love when I'm playing the game and my pets are randomly hanging around the machines. It just looks so cute and it gives a really realistic touch to your farm. I mean, of course, this is not the main reason to why you should always buy the pets. Some people would say they don't like the pets. That's okay, but they definitely look cute. I personally love the kittens in the game. You know, I'm a huge cat person. So cats and kittens, I just love them in the game. They are the cutest, but of course, I love all the pets. 
Number two, when you feed them, they can actually give you XP. And XP is the most important thing that you should definitely be focusing on, even on lower level stages. They can help you to progress fast in the game. They can increase your level. The higher the level is, the more chances are it's unlocking new machines and just enjoying the game more. So for example, uh, you can see here are all my um, pets. Um, and I think some of them are already sleeping, which is kind of weird. Um, but let's just uh, wake them up and you're going to see I'm going to get XP. So if I just wake up my dog, I got 30 XP for one dog and I'm just gonna blow the whistle so that's gonna be 30 more XP. Um, each pet eats a different ingredient so for example your dogs and puppies are going to eat the bacon and you can see now they're all eating in a sequence they're gonna go to sleep and uh, once I'm gonna wake them up I'm going to get a lot of XP. So let's just do the same with all my pets they've been hungry for so many ages and I don't want to be a cruel person I think I'm just gonna feed them now so that's a lot of Carrot. Another benefit of having the pets in the game is that you can also get rid of your extra stuff, you know, bacon, milk. I mean, if you, of course, have extra, but if you don't, just like I do currently, you're probably going to suffer. Uh, but don't worry, make sure to keep harvesting your cows like this. Uh, but anytime you have extra crops in your silo, instead of selling them, you can, of course, uh, feed your pets if you have all of them. I think that's going to be a total of like 12 horses, 6 donkeys, so that's 18. Uh, 24 plus that's 30 carrots in one go that's a lot of carrots that you can use um, and of course the pets sleep every six hours except um the donkeys i think they sleep after every two hours so now you're gonna see i'm gonna wake them up and i'm going to get a lot of xp and tools this is the most effective benefit of having the pets in the game this is the reason i'd recommend you to purchase pets in the game you see that's a lot of xp you got a bolt saw and a screen and expansion tools you guys know are so important to upgrade your barn and silo to open your land and all that stuff so there you saw i just got a land deed which is perfect let's do the same with all my um birds okay an axe which is good another land deed okay nothing from my guinea pigs that was kind of unlucky land deed and another saw that's a nail that's another saw. That's a lot of XP. But of course, um, it doesn't happen suddenly. You have to spend a lot of time to collect the vouchers um, and to ultimately get the pets. But don't worry. Don't rush things. Um, keep playing your game. Keep enjoying the game. Make sure to complete your boats uh, so that you can send them and get the vouchers. Um, sometimes there are special events when you can get actually double vouchers. Uh, so make sure you're participating in them if you're collecting vouchers. And then please buy your pets. Don't waste your vouchers on the decorations unless it's very, very important or unless you've already bought all your pets, which I doubt at lower stages, of course. So yeah, that's basically all about the pets. And um, you can also create beautiful designs with them, which I still haven't done because I'm a lazy person, but you can do a lot with the pets. You can also tap on them and you can just play with them, you can listen to their beautiful sounds, and you can just have a fun time. I mean, I used to have little cousins back in the day, and they used to be really interested um, in playing Katie with me, and especially the pets. They used to tap on them, and they used to laugh just by playing with them. It used to be so funny and so cute. So yeah, I really hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. Let me know your opinion on the pets in the game, and what other ways do you think the pets can be made more interesting in the game? Subscribe to the channel for more hated content coming. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. I really appreciate you guys. Have a good day. Bye.